tired of switching between different AI APIs? What if you could access GPT-4, Claude, Mistral and more all from one place with one API key? In this video, I will show you how to use Open Router to access multiple AI models through a single endpoint. Open Router is a unified API gateway that lets you connect to dozens of popular and cutting edge language models like OpenAI, Anthropic Cloud, Google's Gemini and more all using one API key and a simple HTTP request. In order to use the Open Router API, first you need to sign up for the Open Router account. Type in Open Router in the Google search bar and hit enter. Then select the link that says openrouter.ai. Click on the sign in button here. Then click on the sign up link here. You can sign up using your Google account, GitHub or enter an email ID and password manually. Follow the prompts to create an Open Router account. Here I am logged into my Open Router account. Next, we need to create an API key over here on the right side and select the keys option. Then click on this create API key button here. Type in the name of your API key. I'm just calling it n and demo. Optionally, you can specify API credit limit here. Then click this create button. It will generate an API key that you need to copy and store somewhere safe as it is visible only at the time of creation. Do not share your API key with others or expose it in the browser or other client side code. You will need some credits in order to use certain language models. Some of them are free to use. To add credits to your account, click on the credits option here. Click on add credits button here and follow the prompts to add credits. You can also use crypto to add credits. Now we are ready to use open router in the NA10 workflow. We can click on this models option to browse through the models available. And then you can click on any of these available models to know more details about them. It will also show whether the model is free or there is a charge to it. We can also filter for a specific model by typing the name of the model here. I want to see what DeepSeek models are available. So let me type DeepSeek here. The result shows the DeepSeek models that are available. And let us say you want to use this free DeepSeek model. Click on the model to know more details about it. Click on this API tab to see more details about the API usage. Then click on this curl tab to know further details. Here we can see the API endpoint URL and how to call this API endpoint. We will need this information to use in our NA10 workflow. Now log into your NA10. While you are on the NA10 canvas, click on this plus button to open the notes panel. If you type in open router, in the search bar, you will find an open router chat model that can be only used in conversational agents. To use open router to call any language model, you will need to use a HTTP request. Type in HTTP here, then select the HTTP request node. Here in the method, select post for the URL. We need to provide the open router API endpoint. Let us switch back to open router documentation on using DeepSeek free chat model. Copy this URL and paste here for authentication. Click on this drop down box and select generic credential type. For generic auth type, click on this drop down box and select header auth. Click the drop down box in header auth and select create new credential in the name field. Type in authorization as we are sending the authorization header information and in the value type in the word bearer followed by space then paste your open router API key value here. You can click on this pencil icon and change the name of this node. Then click the save button here. Toggle this send headers parameter to on position. Now let us switch back to deep seek chat model. API call, we need to pass this header, copy this portion and paste it in the name field. Then copy this application slash JSON value and paste it in the value field. We are already sending this authorization information with the credential that we just created. The only remaining thing we need to do is send this body information, which contains the model name and the prompt. We will be using the request body to send the information toggle this send body parameter to on position. We are specifying the details in JSON format. So select JSON under body content type 
field and under the specify body field click on the drop down box and select using json now switch back to deepseek api example and then copy this portion excluding the single quotes click on the expression field here then click in this corner to make it full window then paste the value here now we have completed the basic setup click on this test step button to run the node you can see the node is executing the node ran successfully and we can see the response generated by deepseek llm in the node output content field here we asked it the meaning of life and it gave an answer for that question the meaning of life is a profound and deeply personal question and that's it now you can use open router to call any llm and use it in your n810 workflow using a http request node